land of the Mediterranean Sea is a new and exclusive seaside resort. The wars and worries of the world do not touch these people. They are all Jews, and they are all guarded by the war boats of Great Britain, now lying off the Mediterranean end of the Suez Canal. For England has promised the League of Nations to protect these Jews while they attempt to develop a national homeland out of the sands of Palestine. These Jews can thank Lord Allenby, who in 1917 wrested the Holy Land from the Turks. They can thank the Earl of Balfour, whose declaration the same year fixed the policy later endorsed by Woodrow Wilson and executed by his League of Nations. And paradoxically, Adolf Hitler has helped the growth of the new Palestine. Hitler, who has wrought upon Jews more evil than any man of his generation. Fanned by the oratory of Hitler's Minister of Propaganda, Goebbels, anti-Semitism has swept Germany with fire and pillage. All books of Jewish authors are ordered burned in the public squares. Authors, scientists, artists are driven from Germany. Bands of loud Nazi youths in stormtrooper uniforms conduct terrorizing raids on Jewish citizens throughout the land. To the rest of the world, shocked amazement. condemnation is clear and uncompromising. First, the Nazi swastika is decreed not only Germany's one official flag, but the world's anti-Jew symbol. Then... final blows of a long persecution which has been forcing Jews out of Germany by tens of thousands. World attention and sympathy for such refugees as Dr. Albert Einstein, welcomed in America, has obscured the flight from Germany of some 80,000 German Jews to all parts of the world. 1,600 have fled to Holland, 12,000 to France, 1,200 to Spain, 3,000 to Czechoslovakia, 6,000 to America, 23,000 to Palestine. which God promised to Abraham. Only yesterday, silent Arabs looking out across the sands to Jerusalem could watch a scene unchanged in centuries. Jerusalem, its streets and bazaars and the old city, the same today as in the Middle Ages. The few Jews who lived here had come back in their old age to die in the Holy Land. Through the ages, Jews had made their pilgrimages to the Wailing Wall to add their prayers to those of their ancestors that the scattered children of Israel be brought back to their homeland. Almost unnoticed by the world, a new Jerusalem has been arising outside the ancient walls, a new Palestine in the land of promise. Over an area of some 500 square miles, Jews from all over the world have been bringing about a miracle in the desert. refugee from Germany finds 350,000 Jews in Palestine, finds himself one of 50,000 a year pouring in from all over the world. No more than 50,000 because that is the quota Britain has set. New arrivals go first to a new Haifa. To the east is the Valley of Israel, yesterday a pestilence-ridden swamp 
Today, modern machinery and Jews turned peasant have transformed it into a fertile land of intensive cultivation. Here are 150 thriving Jewish settlements where the colonists experiment with cooperative communal forms of living and refute the ancient tradition that Jews do not make good farmers. Outside the ancient walls of Jerusalem, a thriving modern cosmopolitan city. The Jews are building a network of new roads through the Holy Land. The Dead Sea, 1,300 feet below sea level, symbolic of the long time condition of the Holy Land, is being made to yield valuable chemicals. Here a potash plant, fertilizer for Palestine and her new export market. To Tel Aviv, the only all Jewish city in the world, go one third of the refugees and pioneers surging into Palestine. Its population today is 130,000. Yesterday it was a wilderness of sands and cactus where jackals roamed. The rising deposits of Tel Aviv's all Jewish bank mirror the progress of Palestine's new industry. Silk mills, hosiery works, flour mills, olive ground for oil and soap, a dental factory. These new industries have their all Hebrew telephone service. Palestine now boasts its own merchant marine. With the League of Nations lies the decision as to when this Jewish national home shall have achieved statehood. When the once homeless Jewish race shall send its ambassadors to Paris, London, New York, and Berlin as Palestine takes its place among the nations of the earth. I'm marches on. <laughs>